What's going on guys, Amazing Watch here back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a PvE showcase for Green Esterosa. So as you guys know, um, I, I, I pulled Green Esterosa, I posted on my Twitter the actual pull. Um, it was literally like, I don't know, like last night. And uh, yeah, I, did, I already posted the summoning video with Lunar. And uh, I did a meme multi, you know, uh, kind of just uh, was like, why not? Might as well just drop some like 30 gems. And a uh, boom, we got Esterosa of Love, the green one. So what we're going to do here today, guys, is we're going to be showcasing green Esterosa in some a few PvE bosses. So I have I have a few in mind. So we're probably going to be doing the Hendrickson. I'm thinking the Galland. And then we're going to try the King one. That one's really hard. And then we're going to probably finish it off with the most recent chapter fight. I don't know which one it is, but we're going to test it out. And I have Esterosa... I have my audio set to max for voices, so you guys are gonna hear this, right? Um, you're gonna, you guys are gonna hear Estros' voice a ton, so here, as you guys can see. There you go, so, pretty nice. Um, yeah, so, we'll see you guys when we hop into the first, uh, boss fight. Alright, so guys, I have the final fight pulled up here against the Hendrickson, so we have to bring a Meliodas, so I'm just gonna bring my Demon one, because I have the actual blue Meliodas as a Link partner. So, I don't have any gear on the red Meliodas, so... I only have gear on the Estero, so I'll show you the gear. It's going to be my Escanor UR set. So this is it right here. Nothing special, just really high attack rolls. Actually, I have this min-maxed. I do, I do need to fix that uh, stat roll on the attack uh, bracelet, but um, this one's perfect. So I just need to, you know, finish up the stats there. But um, yeah, so we're going to, you know, test out Esterosa and uh, yeah, see how fun he can be. We're, we're going to, I'm going to let you guys listen to his uh, full counter. I have the volume set to max for uh, voices in the game. So when Esterosa, you know, he speaks, he's going to speak. So uh, yeah, we're going to load in. Um, we can't use food here because I'm replaying a story. And so yeah, we're just going to spam full counter, see if we can beat this. I'm going to wait to tell uh, Demon Meliodas die so we can actually have a solo fight here. But um, we do need Meliodas here, so... Here we are, let's see what he does here. I haven't done this story, uh, this story fight in a while. I remember doing this, it was really hard when I first did it, because it was, it was at the, around the start of Global, right? And everyone was using uh, counter Meli, so... Yeah, so kill the Demon Meli, come on. Come on. Kill the melee, okay, he doesn't kill the melee. He already has ultimate, damn. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here though is do this so I can uh, clear that buff and then just uh, waste some Esterosa cards here. E. <laughs> okay, there we go, we have the uh, full counter set up. He's gonna use an ultimate, so Demon Melee's probably gonna die, but I'm trying to get Demon Melee to die. Oh, wow, he's gonna, oh yeah, cause I set the stance up, that's why it makes sense. Um, <laughs> kind of forgot about that. We just get to listen to that beauty, guys. Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to set up a full counter the next turn. Yeah, I'm not going to set up a full counter the next turn just so that I'm able to uh, have the Demon Meliodas die so we can get some, uh, what's it called? So I'm just going to move cards here, wait till Demon Meliodas dies. Here we go. Yeah, just kill the Demon Meli. Doesn't really matter to me. Nice. Okay, now we actually have a chance here. It's or, or like a, a chance to get this set up. I'm, I'm gonna try and get a level 3 counter if I can. Maybe if we can get lucky here. Oh, we can. We can. I'm gonna eat an ultimate. We're gonna do it. Just so I can get this level 3 counter off and see what we can do here. This is gonna be pretty... This is gonna be pretty sick, right? So, let's see here. I'm just gonna let you guys listen to beauty when I actually put up this counter, right? So, um, let, let's just uh, set up this counter real quick, and uh, you guys can listen to the beauty of uh, Asterosa. Oh my gosh, 55k. There's no crits or anything, but... Six, oh, there we go. There's the crit right there. And we actually just killed him straight off of full counters right there. Yo, Esterosa is so alive, guys. All right, we're going to hop into a different story. I think I'm going to try the Galland fight next. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely check it out. All right, so we're loading into the fight against Galland here. This is the blue Galland uh, final boss right here. So, okay, so he coerced the, the red Slater here. I want him to kill Slater here. So we're, we're able to like spam... Uh, counters here sorry sorry if uh gallon's really loud man i'm trying to you know gallon's super loud right now i'm trying to just uh you know i'm trying to have esterosa here to counter but you know we have to wait till uh slater dies here 
There we are. Nice. All right, guys, so I have it set up where I have a level three counter and I'm here with basically solo Esterosa here. Galen has already popped off an ultimate, right? I'm going to drop the full counter here and I'm just going to let you guys listen to the Esterosa voice actor beauty right here. So, uh, yeah, let me just drop the uh, full counter here and you can listen to the beauty. Yeah, we should just life steal all the health back, by the way, too. Alan's voice, yo, it's so funny. Oh my gosh, 85k, and he has basic stat increases, by the way. So that's kind of insane. Let's let's do Esteros's ultimate here. I'll turn it on too, so you guys can see. Oh,終わりだな. Yo, that's so sick, yo. Okay, so we set up another full counter and uh, Gallon's dead. We literally didn't do any attacks, guys. All full counters, okay? So, you know, uh, Astros are kind of soloing all story content in the game. So, uh, yeah, pretty sick. We don't have type advantage in this fight also, guys. So that might also be like a, you know, a hindrance, right? He is going to go first. So hopefully he just goes for the kill on Demon Melly just because he has type advantage. That, that's what I'm assuming he's going to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does a lot. He does a lot of damage, right? So he was already killed at the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, thing. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is just because he has ultimate, I kind of have to do this level two, uh, uh, full counter here. I kind of have to. There's there's nothing I can really do. So we're gonna set up this full counter. See if we can uh, still combat this. How much is that gonna do? Oh, that did a lot. If if we take a lot of damage here, we might die. Uh, okay. We I'm gonna give this a few tries, guys. See if we can uh, get a better run. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we actually get a nice run here, because uh, this is this might be a little difficult. Okay, so he doesn't have ultimate this turn, guys. I think we have a better sh ch uh, chance at this, right? Because we if we put up a counter, we can start just life stealing a ton of health back with Esterosa. So I'm gonna have this set up. I'll turn I'll turn uh, ultimate moves on once I get it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do this uh, full counter right here. It's not gonna do a ton of damage because it is only level one. But we're just gonna spam this. See how we see how we can do here. <laughs> Yeah, we should just life steal that health back, right? It's gonna be a little tough though, just because this this full counter is not really doing a ton of damage here. But um, yeah, yeah, we critted there, nice. Okay, so if he has an ultimate, this <laughs> this is a little tough, yo. Okay, I don't, I don't think we're beating this. We're just we're just gonna forfeit that. All right, so we're gonna be going into the blue Gother fight in the final uh, chapter, guys. So this is in the most recent chapter. So we have to bring Escanor here. So I'm just gonna bring the red Escanor so he dies quick, and then we can just start full countering with Esterosa. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. I did struggle with the king one, as you guys uh, as you guys seen, right? Like I. I kind of I had to quit that like we weren't beating that so um yeah we're gonna try this I think Gother's gonna be an issue we might have to bring like a, a different character we might have to just bring Escanor like my green Escanor right but uh let's give it a shot see what we can do here hopefully we can beat it this is technically like the hardest boss right now in the story so if we're able to somehow beat this then uh it's gonna be kind of insane not gonna lie let's let's see though wow he literally countered everything Yeah, go through you're very loud man so what we can do here is uh combine that full counter okay we have Esterosa ult just gonna see what goth is doing here he's gonna ultimate that's a given okay i just want Escanor to die here so we can start a yeah full counter yes Okay, so yeah, Esteros is looking pretty nice here with the full counters. So let's do that again. And uh, I think Gothers only only has uh, AoE attacks, right? Can I like uh, check him out? Yeah, so he, he's basically the, the red Gother, right? Only has this AoE attack and then he has this uh, rewrite, rewrite light. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to do that. I did do an attack there. I actually didn't mean to do that. So, you know, not much, guys. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully he could just... He could just kill Escanor, right, with those invasion, uh, not invasion arrows, the, uh, the Ori de Doda. Vulcanta. 
We need a level 3 full counter. That, that's what's going to be like super beneficial right here. So, yeah, Astros is, you know, he's putting in the work, though. This is, what, the hardest uh, fight in story mode at the moment? So I'm just going to move cards here. There isn't really anything I can do. Can't full counter. We don't have a full counter card. I need him to kill Escanor now. There we go. That's perfect. Now we just need full counter cards, right? For the Doda. Nice. Give me a full counter card. Okay, nope. Okay. Nice. Th that's a really good uh, setup right there. We can have ultimate next turn. Okay, there we go. Set up the full counter. Oh, 44k. That's pretty good. We're about to beat this Gother solo, basically. Yeah, he's about to die. If he does another attack, he's, he's basically dead, so... Yep. And that's, as you guys can see, the uh, Esterosa at his, at his best, right? Uh, basically, you just spam counters and you win all content in the game. Pretty insane, so... Uh, I think that's gonna do it for the video basically um you know we were just doing a bunch of testing in the in the pve scene with the uh, so i've seen a lot of people do like pvp showcases of him so i think i'm gonna do a pvp showcase soon but i just wanted to get the pve showcase out there just so you guys can see how like actually crazy green Esterosa is in pve right i think he's kind of slept on in pve even though everyone's like you know super hyped for his pvp uh prowess right but uh yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Kind of a long one. I'm probably going to edit this out a, a ton because right now my recording is at 23 minutes. So it's a long time, but uh, I'm going to edit this, see see how uh, I can uh, edit it out to be a little sm uh, shorter. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.